Welcome changes being implemented by the new liberal leader goes beyond the Chongwade boardroom meetings. According to our Hwang Ho-jun, the president's ordered concrete ways to make spending at the top office more transparent. The presidential secretary for general affairs, Yi jong do held a press briefing late Thursday morning, saying the president had directed him specifically categorize how the so-called special presidential activities fund is to be used. The special fund is given to the presidential office in cash to be spent at the president's discretion on conducting state affairs or secret investigations, for example. No receipts required, but that's raised questions of transparency. Secretary Lee said allocating the money to specific purposes would make the budget more transparent and help job creation. From now on, the president will pay for his family meals and personal expenses out of his own pocket, except for official presidential events. The president said he is determined to make a clear distinction between what can and cannot be bankrolled by the taxpayers' hard-earned money. For this year, more than 16 billion Korean won, or about 14.4 million U.S. dollars, have been set aside for special presidential activities. And as of May, there is still about 11.2 million dollars left over. According to the Blue House, Moon Secretariat will use 42 percent of the remainder, about 6.5 million dollars, to support the creation of jobs to help the nation's young people and underprivileged. Chong Wade said it will reduce that discretionary budget by 31 percent for next year. Along with his pledge on managing his finances, President Moon is also seeking to raise the status of the National Human Rights Commission of Korea. The president made it clear he wants to break away from the previous administration's lack of respect for human rights and to correct their wrongdoing. According to the senior presidential secretary for civil affairs, President Moon ordered his staff to consider implementing a new evaluation category for national agency directors, which would rate potential top officials on their acceptance of human rights-related agendas. President Moon will also receive special briefings from South Korea's human rights watchdog on a regular basis, aiming to pressure state-run organizations to be more human rights conscious. Those briefings were stopped by the previous administration. Less than a month since he took office and big changes being made already. President Moon Jae-in isn't shy about taking the lead and setting a new paradigm for his new administration. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.